No. For training, I think it's good to challenge your dog. Like right now, I'm just entering the field. Entering the field is the time when the dogs get gets excited. They just want to start running. Um, Ember's leash is relatively loose. Vinci, you can see, it's a bit tighter. Vinci back. Right. It's not too bad. He's not pulling me, but he is already excited. He wants to go for a run now. So this, is, knowing this is the, the point when I start to really focus more on training. So uh, in this video, I like to do a little bit more, just a random recall, call them back to their heel position. Um, see, he's already wanting to sniff around. See how tight this is? And he's beyond the heel position. Heel, Vinci back. Okay, Ember is a little bit more mature. It's not an issue. The young ones, yes. He's the less energetic among the two. You guys probably know that. Um, you know, it's all about training. So at this point, at this point, instead of just let, let them lose, see again, bench it back. Uh, it's probably good for me to show you some of the uh, training in progress rather than a lot of success stories. Uh, I look at my own video the other day, teaching people how to stop the dog from jumping on people. And uh, I show people how the result of uh, successful training at home, so my dogs don't really jump on people. They definitely, definitely don't jump on children. They don't jump on girls, they don't jump on somebody who cannot take on their weight. But I didn't really show you the progress. So for one minute stay, you know, they can stay for one minute or two minutes on the spot. Uh, even with distractions, usually it's not a problem. But let's do uh, some of those exercises from, from the most basic level today. Good. Sit. Good girl. Sit, Vinci. Right, cool. So we're number set. We just got to the middle of the field. I haven't even started letting them running. They may want to pee, they may want to poo. Um, I haven't started any of that. Today I'm actually about two hours late from our daily walk. So they probably they are probably very eager to run right now. Number set. Set. Good girl. This will be your best friend if you start training your dog to stay in public area. This keep your dog always in control. Uh, I spoke to a lot of people, um, they really don't know how to start because the moment they let their dog off leash, the dog's gone and they, can't, they don't come back. Actually, it's not that hard to achieve that kind of training. All you need is a long lead. Benji, Benji set. Sit. Good boy. So here we go. Stay. I haven't used this rope since Ember was like six months old. So yeah, this rope has been in, sitting in the garage for a long time. Um, Ember is already knowing what's happening that you see she does it a lot she doesn't actually sit for too long once she knows all the command is stay and she's gonna stay here for a while so if they get up and start walking around you just keep bringing them back but the, my tone will start to become very firm if they keep challenging that um, i wouldn't walk really far away from the beginning and i wouldn't make it i wouldn't make the exercise very long so you're looking at maybe 10 seconds 20 seconds and just extend that time to a minute then two minutes and so on but if the dog keeps standing up my tone will start, start to change you'll sound more like this stay venture stay instead of just venture stay you know uh, and they they understand okay without wasting too much of your time i start the camera and even venture got to the down position still looks very they both look very alert venture set what do we have? Oh, hello. There's another person with a dog. Hang on. Ah, ah. Come here. And she sit. Sit. Good boy. Super interested playing right now. 
that's actually a puppy there. It's been three minutes. Um, and you know, that, that's all. When it comes to training, just keep on training. But I think it's long enough. I'm going to let them go in a minute when the, when the puppy um, is further away. Not sure if the, peop the people um, wants to play with my dogs. So owning a kind of course and one looks like that, we're not going to put too much pressure on the neighbors. If neighbors are not interested in letting my dog play with their dog, I don't even um, try because uh, some people just get scared. Not that they don't like my dog, but you, when you have a kind of course, you understand. Or pit bull or something like that. Some people are just scared of dogs. That's not a problem. Now I can see it's actually a child with a puppy. That's a definite no. Um, yeah, unless the child is very comfortable, but if I don't know them, I'm not gonna try and be super friendly and say, hey, what a cute puppy, can you dog play with my dog? And both of them are pretty calm now. So as you can see, it took him a few seconds to walk from here all the way to there. What? One minute or two minutes, and a dog can go from very alert, wanting to play, to licking himself in down position. All right, guys, I'm gonna let them go now. And but come, come on, girl. And now I'm gonna have quick scan, making sure. And but come. Ember, come! I was gonna say, make sure there's nobody around and there's some person coming in the distance. The man has walked over there. The dog is not interested in the, in the man. And off we go again. My routine is I walk my dog three times a day. 6.30 in the morning, 3.30 to 4 in the afternoon and about 10 30 to 11 o'clock at night three times a day and most of the time you i i make videos of, um, when i take them out in the morning and afternoon the night time is too dark and now they're all happy chewing grass like kettles see ya <laughs>